Okay, so we've got the van up in the air, but before I get underneath it, it is on the handbrake, I think I should put some blocks under it at the front so it doesn't roll. What do you reckon, guys? Am I just being gay or is that the proper thing to do? I think that's the proper thing to do. Let's have a look at the van in here underneath quickly. Come over here. Ooh, yeah, wow. Let's have a look. So one tank is going there, one tank is going that side. I'm quite excited about this, guys. Look at the size of the exhaust pipe, it's huge. This eventually is going to go because, oh, I've just realised. How do you get that out in the spare wheel? Don't tell me you get that out from above. No, I don't think you do. We'll check that before we do any more work. <coughs> Anyhow, there's a piece of wood under there, or cardboard, a piece of cardboard. Look at the size of that exhaust. That's a fat exhaust. Proper fat one. That tyre looks a bit flat actually, doesn't it? But on a whole, I think you'll agree with me, it looks quite like it's been treated and everything. It looks quite good underneath. It looks quite smart. Anyhow, I might slide a bit of ply underneath so I can get underneath, put some blocks under the front, and we'll take it from there. Cool. <coughs> oh shit, sorry guys. Right, so we're under the van. There was one of these clips, like that, that hold all these cables and stuff in. And he was a bit battered, and he went here. But what I've done, I've put some fiber pipe lagging on it, because my tank is going next to it. You can see the shape of the tank. It's going next to it. I'll try and give you an idea of what I'm doing. So the tank itself goes up in there goes up in there, like that. Now what I'm thinking is, if I get my tin of paint, I've got a tin of paint here, yeah? And another tin of paint here. I can put them on the tins of paint and get them closer. Look at that. It's almost like a jack system. So I can get them close, so I can have a look at where they fit. Let's have a look then. That tin of paint is too big, too small. Look, I've got my tins of paint. So as you can see, look, they fit around the chassis. So this U-shape fits around that U-beam, that beam. Same as this one fits around this one. And they have these brackets, which are bolted up like this on the chassis. That go like this around the tank. What that look, guys? You see? And then they have these little U-bolts, which are there, that connect them up. So I think what happens is, let me see, what happens is you drill a hole in here, and you get that pretty thing there. So you get, you drill a hole in here, hook that into it, so that's hanging down. It's really awkward, guys, but, so basically, we drill a hole here, and that ends up sort of hanging like that, down. Like so. Do you see what I mean? But I want to offer it up first. So anyhow, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you on a time lapse and you can laugh at my stupidity. I'm going to set the camera up at the back here and see if you can see what I'm doing. That is what I'm talking about. So what do you reckon, guys? That's kind of how it's going to be. Like that. 
That's how it's going to be. It's going to be fixed like that. You have to admit, when I get all them bolted up, I'll put a bit of insulation here so that doesn't rub onto that because I don't like the way that is, but I'll do the same here. It's meant to be three brackets, but <laughs> awesome. And this is the cold feed tank. So that's the cold coming out. That's the drain. And then the top one is the fill up. So the fill up line, I don't know where I'm going to go with that yet to fill it up. <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, look over there. Can you see that? On top of that there the foam has gone it's all right there look it's good there but that one over there is going to be an mot failure which is fine no problem exhaust yeah seems all right but look at it he's a beast isn't it the exhaust right fat gear that's the fuel tank there that black thing that's quite good see look so with my fill up i can actually come over here with it then but i'm worried about suspension so maybe I don't know, it depends how big the pipe is. Might have to come out the back with it, but it, no problem. Anyhow, the old paint tins did the job. So that's one tank, kind of fitted, not fitted yet. I've got to have a look at the, um, I've got some fittings, I'm going to have a look now actually. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. I'm not quite sure which way they work. Whether, what they are, they're gauges. I bought them. Where did I put them gauges now? Here they are. Now then, let's just, ow, fucking thing. I think I've been stung, guys. In fact, I'm sure I have. Anyhow, let's just put these down here for a second. I've definitely done some into my elbow. Some has gone off. All right, let's have a look at these then, shall we? Can you see them? Easy. They are basically um, level gauges. You know, like you have your fuel, fuel gauge. Ah, so I'd imagine that they go that way up, don't they? Because they'll float like that. Or do they go that way up and then float? I don't know. Whichever way I fit them will be wrong. You know that, don't you? There's no instructions on how they go. Whether they go in the bottom of the tank or the top of the tank. There's people screaming at the screen now going, they go in the bottom of the tank in or they go in the top of the tank in. Well, I don't know that, do I? Actually, they go in the top according to this. Surely you can fit them in the bottom, because I'd rather them be in the bottom so I can get at them. Let's have a look. Please find the corresponding wiring diagram, level sensors you have, and finish the... Um, right, so they go in the top. They fit downwards, but that means I've got to take that tank out and put that in it then. That's fine, no problem. We'll get them fitted inside. Hello, cat. Don't get in my van, cat. What does it say? Why are these? Why is there so many? Look, does this not push you off? Look, there's one, two, three, four, five. Why is there so many? Why is there so many instructions? Why does there need to be so many? That's all we need, isn't it? Live and neutral through the indicator. Boom. Job done. Please find them right. Okay, we're going to fit these now because I want to get them in the tanks. Okay, so I'm going to put you down. So these are breather holes at the top of the tank. So I'm just going to pop one straight through that breather hole. No, I'm not. I'm going to fit it here on a depth tank. They fit perfect, look. So they'll, they'll tell you when the bottom of the tank is. So yeah, let's do it, shall we? Get a drill. What do you reckon, guys? Can you see this? Get the drill to the right hammer. The only thing I've noticed is, look, they're threaded screws. They're no good. I'll have to use self-tappers to bed it down. Right, let's get my little drill bits. All I've got to do is drill a hole that's wide enough to fit that in. Job's a good one. Right, I've got the drill bit that I desire, which I believe to be that one. Yeah, let's just check that measurement. What's that measurement there? Between screw holes. It's going to be 40 mil and that is 40 mil actually why don't we go with a 38 mil one then we've got th that was 44 we've got 38 which that will fit through the hole no it wants to be the big one doesn't it gotta to talk to yourself as well guys yeah that one there look that's going to be plenty that bad boy there now got to be careful because i lost the allen key no i didn't it's okay chatting shit again 
Let's drill a hole in the plastic, man. If I do it at this end, it's got to run a wire towards where the... I'll drop a wire down from above. No big deal. Still got to run a wire no matter which way you look at it in here, so... Let's go drilling, baby. the end then can't he? Oh shit! Why did you do that Ian? Don't worry guys I'm gonna fit some inspection holes. Uh, you know like you get on kayaks big black ones so before I fill these I'll get underneath and drill a bloody hole for it to go in. But there you go that's nice and cool. That should fit in there now like that. And the cable can come out over here like this, so then I can run my cable alongside it. Cooler shaker. Just drill some holes in it then. Well, I'm just gonna use self-tappers to be fair. I've got some self-tappers here. Some tappers the selves. What we got? We've got a little bra bit of shit really, isn't they? To be honest. You just thought they'd have come with some some screws. But they don't. I'm just going to use these little bad boys. They might be a bit long, a bit excessive. There is a washer, neoprene washer. Get the drill. You don't really need to make this any more difficult than it is, guys, to be honest with you. So all you want to do now is drop that on there like that. Get your cordless and just go like this piece of cake this is. I've done this on loads of tanks. Done. Once you've got one hole, yeah, you then smear the bitch up. Oh, come on Ian. So, the neoprene washer does the trick, okay? That's what its job is, the neoprene washer, is to seal up. However, you just do this, because I work on tanks all the time with being a plumber. I don't even use this stuff to be honest with you, CT1 stuff, because I don't need it. There's my hole, it's there. My hole is there. And the reason I've done one screw hole is to try and keep it central basically, guys. So, one screw hole. Give me screw hole, where is it? There. Alright. Pop them down. Don't do it up though, yeah? Do this one first. Like that. Then screw them up, job's good. Now, there is the obvious thing whereby these screws are longer and the water level might come up to the top. Blah, 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 blah. What is the chances of this tank remaining full forever? None at all. We'll go around the edge with this CT1. That ain't gonna leak, guys, I'll tell you that now. Anyhow, that is the first tank fitting fitted. Tank sensor. That won't leak, that'll be spot on that one. So with that in mind, that's, that's done. Sealed, fitted. The only thing you could argue is that my screws are um, not zinc coated. Well, they actually are, but what I am going to do now is put a little blob of the silicon over the top of the screws so it seals them in, the screws as well. If I have to get to them, it means using a knife on it. So we'll just quickly do that while you're watching. While you're watching. So that if any water gets into there, which it shouldn't do really, just like that. Little gentle blob. It's just my preference. You do what the hell you want, guys, yeah? This is not how you should do it. It's how I do it. This is what this is. It's how I do it. Not how you should do it. How I do it. I'd never tell you how to do it. But I do... I do piss around with tanks a bit, so... See them there? I can cut them off with a knife if I need to. Here we go! Look at that. You'll see loads of people do this sort of thing on YouTube and they do a much better job than that. 
but that's how I do it. Right, you do it how you want. Right, let's go from here then. Get this tank fitted. Just notice that's got a slope on it. I wonder if I fitted this right because that's got a slope. Ah, I guess it's so. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to put you on a time lapse, guys. You're going to go this end this time. Have a look then. Look what I've done. Look at that. That's perfect. That one's in there. That one's in there. That one's in there. Look. So it misses the cable. Perfect. I've just got to nip them all up. Now it says there should be three on here, but by the time I tighten that up, two, I could get another one maybe. Maybe I should fit three. So then we've got cold main goes to my pump. So that could go through the floor. This here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably go to here. Drill into the van and then go outside for the fill. And this is the drain. So the drain, I'll run it around there and it'll come out, stick out there at the back of the van. Pucker! Puckery doobly! Right, anyhow, I'm going to get a spanner and tighten them up so they're nice and tight. I'm not going to over tighten them. The cable sticking out is for my sensor, obviously, which is what I showed you. And then we're going to fit the one on this side. I'm just worried that I'm a bit close to that pipe there, that cable bit of thing so I'll just watch it over a little bit maybe but we'll sort it anyhow right I'm going to turn the camera off now guys because the batteries are dying you don't need to see me tighten them up because you've seen better than that already so yesterday I ended up my battery died but I ended up whacking this in which is the pipe I'll show you you know I was fitting the tanks guys so that's the pipe I've just got to get in there with the socket set and screw that up but that brings that pipe down and it comes underneath it's harnessed to the chassis and it connects up to the tank in there so that's a couple of cable ties on it i can insulate that if i want to at some point and as you can see the one on the right hand side is the drain pipe and the one on the left is the cold mains supply so anyhow i'm back on the van again i have a little sort out here but the idea is now I want to get the diesel heater fitted in place. I would have liked it over here somewhere, if I can, so I can poke it into the thing and into the poker, uh, one of the vents, one of the heat vents, into the shower room, pipe into the shower room, and then come round the back of the fridge with the other one and into the lounge area. So it's heated both sides. That's the intention anyway. Anyhow, I'll have a little bit of a clean up and then I'll put you on, guys, all right? Right then. I've got to fit the diesel heater. And it is 130, so 1.3 meters from the back door to where I want the heater to be fitted, which is here. So if I drill a hole through there, that should be roughly where I'm looking at. So let's have a look then. Drill a hole through. Move this one out of the way. Drill a little pilot hole, guys. We can see what we've got then, can't we? I'll drill through there. Are we through or not? I don't know. Go through with a bit of a longer one, see. We're through, according to that. Let's have a look then. Oh, I hope I ain't gone too far and drilled a hole in my tank. I'll be pissing myself, crying. Oh, I tell you what, I think I've gone. I think I'm in there. There's two screw holes there, look. I reckon I'm in that. I think I'm in that void. 
It's only to come back a little bit, I reckon. Which is annoying. But I can't see anything, can you? Tell you what, you stay here and watch and see where I come out now then. I'm gonna move back about three inches. You stay there, tell me what you see. Shout me, yeah guys, shout me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gone too far. What do you see? There it is. Can you see it? It's there, look. It is there. So, that is the diesel heater front end pipe. So where the diesel heater is gonna come through, I'm gonna go to this way a bit more, and I'm come through here. So I'm gonna come off that with a circle. That's what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna go that way about four inches. So I'm going to drill a circular hole and you're going to stay down here and watch. Let's make sure you're on the right spot. Oh. On the right spot. This is there, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> there, you stay there. Stay here, filthy, ain't ya? Look at that mill just cut out. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, baby. That's cool as anything. So then, what I'll do, I'll come out of there and head the um, the waste intake over there and the air intake over there. So the waste one's going near the exhaust area because the exhaust area is over there. Anyhow, as you can see, it works. That's what the idea is. The diesel line, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, guys, with the diesel. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm nervous about how you get this flipping. Spare wheel off, guys, look. Look at this, rusty as anything. I've got to figure that out. Whether you take it out from above, or whether there's some form of does this do it? This thing here, what's this thing? I reckon that's a bloody system for that. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. Have a look, have a look. <coughs> that needs changing, doesn't it look? Fucking hell, that's rotten to the pair. <coughs> Shocks look all right, eh? They're called bump stops. So, they're not used all the time. However, it needs to be sorted. Anyhow, diesel heater. Let's get the pipes hanging through the floor, shall we? Everything connected up, basically. Right then. What's this from? It's my tool bag. My tool uh, thing, don't lose it. Um, right. I was thinking though, I'm thinking... Oh, I... the camera's on side. Mm. So what I've done, is I've run that waste out there, that uh, bad gas is. Out there, it's all clipped, supported. 
nothing flammable that is a cable but there's there's this shield on it so it's okay and now i'm starting on the pump the fuel pump i'm going to put you down here bollocks my phone's ringing typical isn't it let's have a look then put that we're in the diesel heater that's what we're doing. Right, my missus is coming out. Bringing me a coffee, hopefully, guys. She ain't very really forthcoming with the coffee at the moment. I think she's been a bit lazy myself. I can say that on here because she can't hear me. But the minute she hears me, I'm bollocks, don't I? Right. I don't know if you can see this, but look. There we go. That, believe it or not, is for this diesel pump so the flow goes that way I'm led to believe so we want the flow to go like that Ugh. get in there you fucker she's a tight one boys and girls Ugh. right that I'm led to believe will make that quiet as well in that rubber sock <coughs> so then what we've got to do is cut the diesel line that side cut him got quite a bit there haven't we so we'll leave a bit of slack uh, cut it there first of all right then we'll have a look that'll come like that and then cut that there got me little side cutters on them perfect then we've got a little cramper crumper cramper which we can use the pliers on. Put it on the pipe first. Down the line. I'm hoping you can see all this, guys, in the doors. There's the doors. Push that all the way home. Oh, as close as Dan will have it. Right, then do this oh do this look crampy crampy uppy slide it over the top onto there and let go and that is the diesel line going in guys look so this is the heater the diesel comes from the tank this way into the it'll be a filter here in a minute into the filter into the pump and into the diesel heater heater so now we're going to do the pump. Can you see if it's there? No, too too far out, isn't it, really? Right, if that's the diesel heater there, you can see that there. Right, okay. Next one is this filter, which should go this way up. So I'm going to drop him in here. A short bit of pipe, accessible. Arrow going towards the unit. So we'll put a bit of... Where's the line? Oil line, diesel line, diesel line, diesel line. Like so. That side there. If all this works, I'll be well impressed with myself. I will. Get on there, boy. Get on there, my boy. Right, that's on. And I'm going to put the clamp on that now. So that end is clampeds. The clampeds. And I'm going to cut it to size and then put the other end on. All this, the reason I'm doing this is so that I haven't got to do it when it's in situ, guys. So I'll clamp that on. Look. I've clamped that on there. I'm going to do the same with that side there when I've cut that pipe to size and then I can screw that to the wall so we'll leave you here so you can see still which is here so if we offer it up we need to come over here a little bit guys I want it to go there and chop that off there chop him chop it off boys and girls chop it off all right put the crimper over the topper 
Bum, 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 bum. So that's on the house, so that won't go anywhere. And then do the same with the other end. Ah, oh, look, the screws got stuck. Come on, you bugger, you. Right, um. Get that piece of pipe there into there. A bit of life's life's mouth fluid. Or jizz as I called it before. It's not jizz, is it? Come on, we know what jizz is, guys. This is a friendly channel, you know. Ah, fucking stuck. Get on there, boy. Oh. There we go, that's good. That's good, a good job done. So that, so I've done that. All right, they're both on. Might not be pushed home as much as it should be on that side, but he's good. He is there, they're really tough about guys. Honestly, anyhow, so then that, is gonna go up here, it's like that, like, you know, like. So what I'm gonna do now is mark up on the chasse with my pencil. Where's my bloody pen? I've lost my bloody pencil again, look. It's okay, because I've got my scratching tool. I've got the screw itself. So if I cut that, that's gonna go there. And this wants to go as high as possible, which is gonna be there. There. Get the screw in the hole. Right, and then we shall go no further and go like this. Where is that bloody pipe thing? It's there. Well tight. <laughs> Piss off. I'm busy. <sighs> I'll get that back on here again. Oh god, I've dropped something in my eye. Bloody hell. Awkward bastard. <laughs> Beautiful job. I've just got to get that oil diesel line on a little bit better, that's all. But I'm going to pull it off first and put some jizz on it, I think. Ah, fucking won't come off now. She's stuck solid, so I'll have to try and force it on then. Move that out of the way. Believe it or not, that is done. It won't go any...